Hey you guys, I'm doing a quick review on Giving My Old to You by Cheryl Lister. This is part of the Grades of Los Angeles series. This is the third book. This is featuring Brandon and Faith Story. Now, Brandon is the one that always puts his foot in his mouth for a lot of things. And I'm just like, sometimes in the story when I was reading it, I was just like, Brandon, shut up. Like, damn, think about what you're doing. Think about your actions sometimes. But anyway... But I like Brandon though. He's seen he 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 is he's always been like the workaholic and stuff like that. They have to get him out the office as well too. So they did to do the same thing to Silver Hall as well too. Um I also like the fact that both of the families, like I said in my first review when I did on um Subahan and Morgan's story, I like the fact that this is fed their family oriented. They always stick together no matter what. They can call each other out, give each other a hug. They can sit there and say, you know what? Some things you need to grow on. They could, you know, tell each other. But at the same time, they root for each other, congratulate each other, encourage each other, like family's supposed to. So anywho, um, how they meet Faith. Um, that's the ice cream truck outside of y'all hearing that noise. Faith basically meets Brandon because she gets into a car accident because she was on her way down to Los Angeles to meet her father, who is Thaddeus Whitlock. I forgot his last name. I may be right. Whitlock, something like that. But anyway, her mom had lied and told her over the years that her father had passed away. And, you know, her mom remarried. And her stepdad is really a nice guy. Um, Faith really loves him and adores him. But she found some old letters from her dad. And, of course, she confronted her mother like, yo, what's, what's the deal? Why? What's going on? Um, you know, Francis was like, was very defensive over her decision to lie about it. I mean, I can understand Francis' point of view, you know what I'm saying? But at the same token, as parents to children, you always tell us don't lie, you know, always keep it 100 and stuff. I was not feeling that, but I understood where, I definitely understood what Faith was coming from because if you my mother, you tell us not to lie, what is you lying for? That's like, I don't know. But Francis, the reason Francis lied because she didn't want to tell Faith what was going on because that is, um, was suffering from PTSD. You know, a lot of things like post-traumatic stress disorder. PTSD. Yeah, PTSD, okay. Uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. And a lot of people, especially dealing with war, especially dealing with something traumatic in their life, often suffer that as well, too. And Francis was honest enough to admit, hey, I wasn't equipped to deal with that. But at the same time, you don't lie. So, you know, Faith goes down there, gets into a car accident. Brandon was the one that noticed they helped her and, you know, romance um, assist. Now, in the meantime, of course, some uh, of course, some drama happened when Brandon put his foot in his mouth again. I'm putting some lotion on, y'all. Because... Um, their dad is stepping down as CEO, and I think um Uncle Dad is also stepping down too. They were still going to work for a few more months, you know, to try to groom Brandon in a position. Now, Brandon figures that he's going to work the CEO position by himself, but then he has somebody else come in. And by the way, that company is called Great Great Safety Home Enterprises or something. I think so, but it's like a um technology company as well too and it especially helps those dealing with um physical disabilities as well too make it easy to access things so with that being said um of course brandon puts his foot in his mouth again faith does not know what's going on because she's still like oh my god like confused about me and her father who happens to be uncle dad and things like that so like i said this story was definitely good um, I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the families. I enjoyed them all getting together, you know, getting to know each other. Um, I'm definitely waiting for Khalil and Malcolm's story like that. And then especially Khalil being a fitness buff and a former model. <laughs> anyway, I do like Cheryl Lister as an author. If you did not check out her first two books, I'm going to link it in the link bar below. Um, very cool. And do a one and two series because I reviewed them back to back because I read them back to back. So, yeah. Anyway, um, today on my cheeks, I have on um, Peach Twist Blush. I'm on my way to work. I have to be at work around 12 something. I'm not going to make it earlier than that. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye now.